Hello, welcome to Bikers Travelogue uh, once again on Revelator Alf. So I've ditched the biker just up the way and I've come down on foot um, to uh, a plantation of willow trees. And you might think, well that's a bit boring, what, what's all that about? Well actually, you know, if you're a bit of a cricketing buff, um, um, then actually a willow tree is really important because that's what they make the cricket bats out of. So if I just, um, you know, spin the camera around here, you can pretty much see right in there whole plantation full of little sapling trees uh, right through there. Now basically they're about that thin right now. So in about 15-20 years time they'll be uh, you know quite sizable you know about 25-30 centimeters 40 centimeters sort of, uh, diameter. Then they chop them down and then go through the whole process of making um, you know the cricket bats. But actually, it's not often you see a plantation of willow trees, especially, you know, just in, at this stage. So I know this spot quite well, and this has always been a sort of barren field here. And there's a river right over there, so it's always been a bit of a floodplain. Um, so this is their plan. So in forestry, nothing ever happens really quickly. And this, you know, is a long-term thing. You know, so the plan is that 15, 20 years, 25 years, wherever it is, that's when they cultivate them. But anyway, so I thought it would be really interesting uh, to to show you something that some a lot of people take for granted. You know, they know that cricket bats are made from willow, uh, but they don't actually know, you know, how it all starts off. Anyway, so that's it. That's a willow plantation, and it's uh, been specifically grown for uh, cricket bats uh, for the cricket market. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that biker's travelogue. Bit of an odd one, I know. And uh, catch you on the next one. Cheers.